So now is where we really start to have some cool fun with Photoshop. This is where we start actually transforming things. And what we're gonna do is simply tell this layer to interact with the photo in a different way. And the way that we do that is we want to change what's called the blending mode. This is super critical. A lot of the fun of Photoshop comes into playing with these blending modes. So what we're going to do is right up here in the layers palette where it says normal, we're going to click that. And the one we're actually going to end up with is color. So you can click right to it. Doesn't look great, but I'm going to show you there's two settings here that we need to play with. There are also a lot of different blending modes. And so on the PC, you can just click and select one, and then you can just use your up and down arrow keys and kind of cycle through them. And often I will play with this. This actually looks, <laughs> this looks pretty good already. Although I, we're gonna go with color because I wanna show you another option. But sometimes I will just sort of play with these and I'll just kind of cycle through these. This color burn and linear burn look like they might be usable. And so sometimes I'll just move through these. And on the Mac, you can just hold shift and use the plus sign or minus sign to cycle through those different settings. We want to change ours to color. And then I want to show you also that you can change the opacity. And the opacity is basically how visible something is. So if the opacity is 100%, then it's fully visible. If it's down at 0%, it's invisible. But then you've got all of these levels in between where we can get it to be the right range of color. So we don't have to worry too much about this. We just want it to get relatively close. We need to paint the whole image with this color in this tone. We just need it to be believable enough for us. And so it doesn't distract us and throw us off from what we're trying to do. And I'm going to just continue painting this whole image wherever their skin, I want it to get filled in. Now, occasionally you might make a mistake and go whoop and paint it all a bunch on the wall. And that's not a problem. Let's talk about how to use the eraser to fix problems like this in the next video. It's very similar to the brushes and super critical skill to understand.